Hi everyone, this is Robin, the Delta Crafter, and today I'm going to be sharing with you a no-sew elbow patch project. Um, before we, But before we jump into the video, I want to encourage you, if you like what you see today, go ahead and click the subscribe button. And, and then so you'll be, uh, if you want to be notified when I post new videos, then hit, go ahead and click the notification bell and then you'll be notified when I post new videos. So let's jump into, to, into today's project. So first we're going to talk about the supplies that you're going to need. So first thing you're going to need is some sort of clothing item, a sweatshirt, um, some sort of button down shirt, a sweater, whatever the case may be. I've chosen a pink sweatshirt. Then you're also going to need um, some fabric. So I have a couple of samples here. I'm actually just gonna be working with the felt today. You're gonna need um, some sort of scissor, um, preferably fabric scissors because these tend to have a sharper blade that will really work with fabric. Um, these are my fabric scissors. As you can see, I've written all over them uh, several times so that there is no confusing um, what these scissors are for. Then you're also going to need some um, fusible bonding web. So this one is stitch witchery. I have another one here that's just like a care and repair. This is also sold in sheets. So if you have the sheets or you have the, the rolls of it, whichever one you have, it will work. Um, you just need to make sure you follow the, um, the directions on the back of your package for using it. And then the last thing that you'll need is an iron. So you'll need to um, set this iron to the wool setting. And so my iron doesn't have a wool setting per se, so I looked it up. And then what, it, um, what I learned was the wool setting is a little bit warmer than cotton blend, but less, not as warm as cotton or linen. So whatever settings your iron has, I think most irons have a linen set, linen and cotton setting. Turn it down just a little bit below that and you should be um, in the right range for wool. All right, let's get started. So I'm going to be making this project to wear for the week of Valentine's Day. So, um, and because of that, I've chosen some red felt fabric to use as my elbow patches. And I'm actually going to cut the patches in the shape of a heart. So I'm going to um, start out by cutting this um, felt in half. And this is just a regular, like, 25 or 50 cent felt um, that you can find in the craft store, um, in, the, in the craft section. And I didn't need any fancy um, felt or anything like that because I don't plan on this being, like, something that I wear often or, um, you know, for any length of time. You can certainly use any type of fabric that you want to use. Um, this is this fabric right here is a Waverly Fat Quarter. This is a 100% cotton fabric. So this one would, um, you could certainly use something like this. You could use um, a knit fabric, whatever you want to use. Um, but just know that, you know, it depends on how, how much you want to wear your item. So I'm going to just fold this in half. So I went ahead and cut a template with, um, out of just a scrap piece of paper of a heart. And I'm going to put this down on my paper. Now I'm going to cut out these uh, two hearts, one for each elbow from this uh, felt with this template. Using my scissors. And I want them, I, because they're going to be, you know, elbow patches, I want them to be the same. So. That's why I'm cutting them together.
And you, if you, once you take your template off, if you see any areas that you want to like straighten out a little bit, clean up a little bit, you are certainly able to do that. I have a couple of little edges here that I'd like to have just a little bit neater. So I am just going in ever so slightly and gently and cleaning up some of those edges. Same on this patch, just barely trimming it up a little bit. So I don't have any sharp, jagged edges. All right, so I'm happy with those. So once you have gotten your hearts or whatever shape you're going to use, you could certainly use ovals or squares or whatever the case may be. Once you've gotten those cut out and set those aside, what you're going to want to do is put your um, clothing item on. And you can do this yourself or you can have someone else do it um, for you. But you're going to need to mark where your elbows are. So you can see I have these little dark marks right here. This is where my elbows were in my, um, when I put my, my arm in the sleeve. So this is gonna tell me where I need to add my patches. Let's get that, let's get that spread out. All right. So now I've got my patches. I'm going to put one patch there, oops, one patch there, and one patch there. Now I need to put, put the fusible bonding web, webbing up under here. So this comes in a roll, so I can just cut pieces of it that'll fit up under the heart. And actually, I can do it on this side, and it kind of, because this is felt, it kind of has some grab to it the fusible bonding does, so it's just laying down on the fusible bonding really nicely and easily, and it'll just kind of stick there. So I'll probably speed this up while I go ahead and get the rest of these laid out. Okay, so all of that is laid out now. And then I can just turn this piece over on my heart. I'm sorry, on my little dot that I put there. So that one's ready to go. Now I'll do this one on the other sleeve. elbow patches now we have the fusible bonding um, on the other side between the fabric and my sweatshirt we're going it's time to go ahead and bond this um, the patches to the sweatshirt so one thing I forgot to mention previously was that you're going to need a damp cloth the damp cloth my, my um, fusible bonding calls for a damp cloth to be placed between the fusible bonding, I'm sorry, the fabric and the iron. So we're going to have, go ahead and lay this uh, damp cloth down. And then we're going to lay our iron down on top of the damp cloth for 10 seconds. Now my fusible bonding um, says just to lay the, the uh, iron here and do not slide the iron. So I'm not going to do that um, so that I don't have any mistakes or mishaps. Lay that there. All right. You can see there's steam, or maybe you can't see, but there's steam coming up off of the patch um, from the moisture that's in the cloth. So I'm gonna leave that one, let that one cool a little bit. And then we're gonna do the other side, the other elbow.
leaving it there for 10 seconds. Making sure that it's bonded. Okay. So while that one cools, this arm uh, sleeve cools, well, let's go ahead and check this one for bonding. Yay, it's bonded. Wow, that was so quick and easy. So now at this point, um, what you're gonna wanna do is you're just gonna kinda wanna go around the edges and check and make sure that all the edges are bonded down because you don't wanna you know, be in the middle of the day and through movement and doing things like your, um, your patch starts to peel up. So that one looks pretty good. Now let's check this one. Still warm, but we can definitely check it. Especially the pointy edges. See, there's a little bit of gap right there. I might put some more there. And maybe right there. So let's put just a touch bit more. Cut some little bitty slivers here. Slide that up under there and cut another little, little tiny piece. Put that there. Cover it with the damp cloth again. Ten seconds. No moving the iron. Okay. Give a little time to, a little bit of time to cool there. And there we go. So now there's little loose edges that we had, a few little loose edges are secured. So with that guys, we are done. I absolutely love the way this project came out. I've seen this a couple of times or different places and pinned it on Pinterest. Um, but never actually giving it a try. So here we are. Uh, I think this will be very cute uh, for Valentine's Day. Something you could easily do for yourself or your children um, or for a gift for someone else. So um, if you like what you've seen today, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. As well as if you want more inspiration and you want to see what else I'm up to, you can follow me on Instagram and Facebook at The Delta Crafter. Until next time, everyone. Bye-bye.